<laughs> hey guys, so I actually forgot one more thing. So just when I thought this video was over and I said all my health issues that I have, I forgot about the number one thing that I do have that's really, really annoying and I've had for a couple of years, but it was, it was kind of caused from the way that I was born. Uh, so I'm partially deaf. But it was also because I was in a car accident as well. So when I was in grade 11, so about 10, 10 years ago, I actually was in a hit and run and the person drove over my foot and I flew from one side of the road to the other side of the road and I actually fell and hit my head so my hearing was really bad it's actually both ears um, and I've had it for quite a few years now but it's very difficult because with hearing aids the problem with hearing aids is that I hear all the sounds around me so when I'm on the phone with the hearing aid I actually hear the noise of the phone and not the person that I'm talking to when I'm watching TV, I hear the sounds of the TV and not the sounds of the actual TV. When I did go to work for a little while with them and I was actually hearing all the fans and all the other noises around, but the person in front of me. <laughs> so it was kind of pointless. I also have um, really bad ears for some reason. They constantly hurt. So hearing aids are really um, big that are covered. So it really hurts to wear them and even now my ears are actually pretty sore so it's really hard to hear but since I am only partially deaf I can still hear things but if I'm on the phone it has to be on speaker and even then it's really hard to hear so it's actually easier to meet in person with people because then I can read lips or do video calls um, so when I have to talk to my neurologist on the phone, it's really, really difficult to hear him sometimes. So <laughs> that's the other thing. Um, but again, that was kind of caused from the way that I was born, but not fully because I've always had hearing issues. Um, actually, we didn't know if I was going to speak when I was first born. So I did kind of learn with being taught sign language, but it was really hard to uh, learn. So I ended up learning to read lips and sometimes when I talk to kids it's really hard for me to punctuate because of my thinking. It takes, it's really hard to put together sometimes. <laughs> so I also often repeat myself and that's part of it. So that's also from the way that I was born. But my hearing was actually caused by a head and run. And so, like I said, I flew from one side of the street to the other side. The person was caught. I did end up paying money for it, but I kind of blew it all because I was young and stupid. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they did get caught. And unfortunately, we didn't find out till five years later when I was at camp that I couldn't hear. So, if I'm talking to you a lot, I'm like, what? Sorry, if you speak up, I can't hear anything. That is why. Um, I also prefer people texting me or emailing me because it's really, really hard to hear anything on the phone. Um, especially in person, it's really hard to hear things. So, unless I'm, I'm reading your lips, but even then, it's still pretty difficult. I am trying to set up an appointment with uh, the next gen generation hearing to get better hearing aids because my hearing aids are actually stolen. So, other than that, I, I would show you them, but they kind of just fit around your ears. And they do hide now, but that's not what the point is. The point is that my ears hurt all the time for some reason, and so putting anything on it just, just really hurts. So, that was caused from the way that I was born on top of a head and run, and I survived that. So. Yeah, that's uh, another thing I almost forgot about, so I decided to do a quick uh, video about that. So if I don't hear you for some reason, it's because, remember, I'm partially deaf, so 
don't hold it against me. <laughs> and that's another thing you can't see in this coma and my hearing aids. So you can't tell that I'm partially deaf. So yeah, it's going to be one of the things I have to figure out about wearing hearing aids or learning how to sign language maybe might be better. But um, I'm not completely deaf. I could still hear some stuff. But hearing aids just don't work for me because my ears are constantly, constantly in pain. And that's probably from the way that I was born. Uh, I don't really know if it's considered a disability, but my ears are often red and they often hurt. And doctors don't know why that is either. So it's one more thing that I add to the list. But I still am who I am. And thankful that even though that I have all these conditions, most of them are covered. Uh, like the medication that I take for my shaking condition is covered. Hearing aids are covered. Uh, my teeth is covered because I'm on disability. But my allergy pills are not covered, so that kind of sucks. But um, I do try to get help for those. And yeah, so story of my life, so many problems. Again, learning disability, teeth, uh, teeth, hearing, my swollen feet, and my shaking condition. So that's five things that I have since I've been born. And I'm still here, still fighting, still going strong, still trying to inspire people as well as doing my ghost storytelling and cleaning and looking after my three cats that I love like crazy and enjoying life as much as I can around the conditions that I have. So maybe now people will understand a little more and not keep asking me, have you been tested for that? Have you been tested for that? Have you been tested for that? I've had most of these conditions, including the shaking for over two years now. All this stuff has happened before COVID and the vaccine, so it's not due to that. And all that I could do is just try my best, live day by day, and be thankful for when people donate and help me out with uh, things such as rides and cat stuff and all that. But it does get a little more difficult now that I have five issues, but still going strong. I still believe that I have all these things so other people could be inspired by my conditions and like I've been inspired by other people and maybe that's why I have all this stuff but it does make me appreciate life more and try to fight more and not give up so again thank you guys for all your love and support and I had to include this in the video, <laughs> so it's kind of last. So again, thank you guys again for all your love and support, and never be ashamed of who you are, and see you in the next.